Today we're going to have a look at the quotient rule. This is a really useful rule in terms of it allows us to solve some problems that we couldn't solve otherwise. Right. So let's have a look at a situation where we have h of x equals f of x over g of x. Right. The quotient rule comes out like this. h dash of x equals, now it starts off looking quite similar to the product rule. f dash of x times g, da, g of x, not g dash, sorry, minus f of x, g dash of x, all divided by, and here's where it gets a little bit different, g of x squared. Okay, so how does that actually work? Well, let's have a look at this one here. Let's say f of x, or we'll use a, use a different a different notation. Well, let's say that f of x equals 3x plus 1, and g of x equals 2x minus 3. So in this situation, h of x equals 3x plus 1 over plus 2x minus 3. Right, so what we need to do is we need to quickly write and we differentiate each of the parts. So that makes it, it's going to make it a little bit easier to write things down. So f dash of x equals 3, g dash of x equals 2. Right. To find h dash of x, Equals, I'll just zoom it so you can see the rule. It's going to be 3 lots of g of x, 2x minus 3, minus 3 lots, no, sorry, 2 lots, of 3x plus 1. all divided by g of x squared, 2x minus 3 squared. So then it's just a case of simplifying it. Six x minus six minus six x minus two. all divided by 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. So h dash of x equals negative 8 over 4x squared minus 12x plus 9. It, it seems complicated, but... It, once you get the hang of it, it's not quite as bad as it looks. Let's have a look at, the, at another one. Let's say f of x equals, and I'll just do the, the whole thing as one go, f of x equals x squared minus 2 over 2x plus 4. Right. 
So we're going to break it down into two parts. Um, we've got x, my, x squared minus 2 dash is going to be 2x. Two 2x two plus 4 dash is going to be 2. Alright, so that's useful to remember. So that means that f dash of x equals, first of all, we differentiate the f of x, the top one, times g. So that's 2x times 2x plus 4. Minus, then the bottom one, 2 times x squared minus 2. all divided by 2x plus 4 squared. Alright, and simplify that. 4x squared minus 8x minus 2x squared plus 4 all divided by, uh, we're going to have 4x squared, that's 8x16x, plus 16. Right, which gives us 2x squared minus 8x plus 4 all over 4x squared plus 16x plus 16 and now we can probably factorize out the 2 from that because it doesn't really need to be there so we'd get x squared minus 4x plus 2 all over Two x squared plus eight x plus eight. All right, and that is the quotient rule. So here are your questions on that one. Differentiate. And finally, let's make it a bit, bit more interesting. x to the power of third over 3x squared minus 4x. Alright, so those are your three questions. I'll see you in class.